go as slow as shadow on the mic I play to win, never to lose In the contest of champions I'm the one that shoes Swipe straight down, my moves are slick Dexterity more heavily, I dodge quick Class champ, I'm the master of the game Cosmic science, skill tech mutant I claim Arena and chill grind, that's how I roll No stress, no drama, just on patrol The fight, I'm swift, my tactics excite Lost shadows in the arena, ready to ignite From the streets to the screen, my skills are renowned in the world of Marvel, I'm the King Crown. So listen up, here's the story of the champ, Lord Shadow's the name. I'm the Grind Track fan. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 50, and this is war number 8. And we're going up against an alliance called Knights Who Say Me. Oh, Monty Python reference. Okay. Let's see, who did they ban? Of course, yeah, I'm thinking that Corvus's reign is done. He's going to be the globally banned champion uh, next season. People have seen just how devastating he is. And they realize that if they do not ban him, he is just going to dominate. So I guess we won't be using our Corvus from now on. Great. All right. Um, globally banned uh, Kushala and Domino. And we've got Bishop and Iceman. Not. Okay. Let's take a look at uh, the defense lineup here. Okay. So we've got Mantis and we've got Gallon. They're not global defenders. And they both... Um, they do not get armor ups. So just any counter is going to be good for them. I mean, Hulkling can do it, uh, you know. And okay, so here we've got Red Skull. Now, the last time I fought Red Skull on that node, uh, I messed up and went in with the wrong uh, champion. I think I ended up uh, using Hulkling. That's the wrong one to use. So this time, um, if if uh, Terax is, is going to be used, then uh, that's who I'm going to bring in for that Red Skull. And then we've got Guardian, who is a global defender, and he gets armor ups. So on that node, let's just uh, make sure we take a look here. On that node... You have chitinous thorns with an enhanced bleed. So if you go in here with someone who is not at least bleed immune, it's not going to go good for you. I can take this node with Claire. She's clarity and she is bleed immune in her primary um, form, curse of blood. So, other than Claire, I would be open, and we'll see. I mean, Nick Fury could do it too. I could, I could bring in Nick Fury, um, Claire, and Terax, or Hulkling. The only thing with Hulkling, though, is he doesn't have any way to... I said Hulkling again like I didn't learn my lesson. Um, he doesn't have any way to get rid of those armor-ups. That's the problem with Hulkling on this one, um, even though he is shock immune. But Terax, on the other hand, has the armor breaks. So Terax, Claire, Hulkling would be fine, or Nick Fury... Because really, there's no need for Hulkling. Now, what our planner will do is, after he looks at everyone's roster and, and all of that, he will assign different uh, minis for us. And depending on who he assigns me, he's also going to assign an attacker for that uh, mini that he assigned me. So I have to look at that. And if I'm not comfortable 
with the champions he's chosen. I'll suggest some other ones, which I've done uh, before. And um, let me see. So like um, with Guardian, I, I would definitely use Claire. Claire can also do these two fights. So Claire, Terax, and then there'd be one more uh, for whoever he wants to um, assign me to. So we'll see. Hold up. Let me see. High energy diet. Did we get back to um, tier two? Yep, we're back in tier two. Cool. All right. Because we had um, dipped down to tier three last time. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll just let him assign me uh, one of these guys. Ew. And then we'll see. All right. Let's get with the fighting. All right. So we're going in with Terax, America Chavez, and Nick Fury. So our war planner uh, chose Terax and America Chavez uh, for most of my fights and told me that I had a spot to bring in whoever else I needed to clear my path. But that's who I needed for the uh, mini and for most of the uh, fights. So I'm looking at the fights and I'm like, yeah, Nick Fury can do this. And I love the little safety net that he has. So we're going to bring Nick Fury. Now, I did make a mistake. Well, I, I wouldn't say it was a mistake. But it was a learning experience. Let's say it that way. OK, uh, but before we get there, we got to get through this Mantis, who is not difficult to fight, not a difficult defender at all. Uh, Nick Fury is just going to bleed her down. I try not to deal with her special one if I can help it, which is why you see me holding the block a little bit. Um, that way I don't have to worry about her encroaching stun like thing. Okay. Um, but just look at her. And now she's stunned and done. Stun and done. And he is not even on his second life. That's how I like it. Now, America Chavez could also have done this fight. Um, Terax could have too, but I don't think I want to do Terax. Now, for this fight, America Chavez could also have done it, but I was trying to save her for a later fight. So, in comes Nick Fury. Now, fighting Gallon, I had to learn how to fight him and how to avoid that harvest, because, oh my goodness. First of all, you do not want to go up against Gallon if you get armor ups. Don't do it. It's a bad time. Um, other than that, if he fires his special off, you want to knock him down with a special if you can. Okay? So you can see here, I'm just kind of trying to bait that special one out. Okay? Just blocked it. And then fire my special. And watch his planetary mass. Poop, went down from 40 to 10. Okay? And I got another special ready. Just in case. But we didn't need it. So, Gallon can be tricky. If you know how to fight him and you avoid going in there with armor ups and such, you should be fine uh, nuking him down and that sort of thing. Okay, so that's my section one. And on to section two. Now, this first fight is against Guardian. Guardian has his own auto block mechanic, which is very annoying. And also... He is a global defender, so he also has that, you know, he's House of Mirrors, so he has that uh, auto block, evade, rotation, okay? But Terax is clarity. 
So as long as I can get um, 10 hits in here and keep rotating those 10 hits, I'm good. Okay, so you can see here, and I'm just blocking. I'm not even trying to do anything crazy, okay? There we go. See the green icon? I now don't have to worry about his evade or his um, auto block. Okay, and here we go. And I got two stacks of it right now, which is fine. Okay, there we go. Just uh, auto broke him. Here we go. Just blocking, just blocking. And that's really it. You want to keep an eye on that clarity buff because if it drops off, you don't have any protection from your uh, auto block and, and auto evade. Okay, so just look at this. Just, just getting him down. Chew, chew, chew. Bite, bite, bite. Okay. And just blocking. And as long as you stay aggressive with a clarity champion, you'll always have that uh, clarity buff, which will stop their auto block. You can see the auto block uh, fa uh, failed. Or the evade. And it, it goes for any auto block and all, any auto evade. It shuts all that down, okay? So, great, perfect. And he's down. Pretty straightforward. Now, for this next fight, I need someone who is shock immune and someone who can deal with the armor ups. If you watched my previous war, you saw that I went in here by accident with a Hulkling, and that wasn't a good time. So now, I'm like, I'm not gonna make that mistake again. I'm going in with Terax. Now, you've heard me talk about the clarity buff and everything. Well, guess what? I didn't fully understand that until after this fight. So while I'm doing this fight, I'm not even looking at the clarity buff. At this point in time, I'm thinking that the clarity buff is something that is going to stay with me and I don't even have to worry about it. That's because I'm usually aggressive. So I don't usually have to worry about it. Okay. But look at this. Auto block failed. So I'm doing good. But then I hit him and I'm like, wait a minute. That sucks. Now I need to keep the clarity buff up, but keep in mind, I don't know this. And then I have to go get that rock feel active so I can get a, um, take away some of these armor ups. Because this is really, really annoying, okay? Look at this. Look how much glancing I'm doing, all right? So this was a longer fight than it had to be. And I can tell you that after this fight, I decided I will not be going in here with Terax again. He can do it, but I don't have that kind of patience. And it was ugh, so annoying. So um, after the fight, I went and I, and I started looking for different options. I'm like, okay, if I see him on this node again, what do I need? Okay, so the first thing, of course, he has armor ups, so he's gonna get shot, right? You're gonna get shocked if you hit him. So I'm like, okay, I need to have shock immune. But is that true? Because as I was thinking about it, that's not true if you have a way to deal with his armor ups. For example, now, of course, Corvus, you know, he, he's not, you he don't have to deal with the shock, you know. Um, he's not going to take any damage or anything like that from the shock. So he's perfect for this. But even if I find him elsewhere, if I parry Red Skull and armor break him, he's no longer going to glance and he's no longer going to um, be able to inflict that shock when I hit him. So I started looking for someone else who could 
uh, armor break and who was clarity. So I'm looking and I'm looking and I'm looking uh, uh, for a good long while and I'm like, man, this is, this is not good. And then I happen to notice something. Red Skull is not House of Mirrors. See, I was assuming, and that's always a bad thing, that the reason that Terax was chosen here was because he was Clarity. And because he had to counter the House of Mirrors. That's not true. So I'm like, wait a minute. Really, all I need is someone who can deal with these armor ups. So I'm like, who can deal with the armor ups right from the start? Maybe somebody that I haven't used before. And then I thought, Mephisto. That's an odd uh, choice, right? But that soul imprisonment, I said, maybe that'll work. So I went and I checked, I checked, I checked. And I did a, a practice run. And I'm like, oh, that works. Okay, great. Um, but then I said, wait, I would have to rank him up, but maybe there's another one. And there is. And I'll talk about that one at a later time. Okay. Now, I want you all to watch this because this is important right at the end. Remember I told you. I didn't understand how the clarity worked, and I'm normally aggressive, but you see how long it took me to deal with his special? Bait that out, okay? So now I'm hitting, look at my, look at, look at this. I only have nine, nine, bam, dead, okay? So I was only at nine for the counter. The clarity buff had ran out. And so when I attacked him after his special one, his auto block, instead of failing, like it's been doing all that time, kicked in, I hit his block, power burned him, bam, done. And I was sitting there like, man, I was thinking that all I needed was another good run, fire off another special, and I might be able to pull this off, you know? But that was a long, exhausting fight for me, okay? So the first counter that I thought about was Mephisto. I did a practice and the soul imprisonment right from the start shut down his um, armor ups. And I'm like, okay. And then I could just cycle special ones. He'll never have an armor up. We'll get him easy. Okay. Now, the next option is one that I've not used a lot. And that's Gladiator. You guys saw me rank up Gladiator. And Gladiator has a couple of things that he can do. Now, I do not know why Gladiator can hit into um, Red Skull's block and not take damage. But Hulkling does. They're both immune to the power burn, but Hulkling takes the damage and Gladiator doesn't. But I was surprised when I did a practice run Red Skull didn't get in his armor ups in the beginning. And I said, whoa, 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 whoa. How did that happen? So I looked at Gladiator's kit. He shuts down. He is like a, neg a minus 100% armor up ability accuracy. So he won't get any armor ups. And even if he does, I can hit into the block and take him away. So he seems to be the perfect option for that encounter if I have to deal with it again. So if they ban Corvus and he's there, I'm bringing a Gladiator, okay? Um, but I was so surprised. I was so surprised. I'm gonna have to do a, a breakdown, you know, deep dive into Gladiator um, more for my own benefit. But I did take a look at his kit and see that. All right, so now here is my mini boss fight. This fight was just new to me, okay? I looked at the node. I saw what I needed uh, to do, but I was not used to this node, okay? America Chavez 
is rather simple to play, and she's really good. She can definitely do this fight, okay? And so I'm buffing up, you know, just for, for since I don't know and I'm not used to this fight, and it's not like I can practice that node exactly, um, I just wanted to buff up you know, all the way, just in case. And I made sure to look and, and it said um, that those don't work against science. Well, serpent is cosmic. So we're good there. All right. So now I get to fight serpent and he's awakened. Okay. And you'll notice he's a six star. I still don't have a six star serpent. But a six star serpent awakened with a high sig is a much better defender than a seven star unawakened. But mine is on defense and still gets uh, some kills. All right, now I want y'all to watch something. Now you look at this, the damage um, is looking good already, right? But here's what messed me up, the falter. That is what messed me up. All through this fight, I want you to watch the falter debuff. That broke my flow up constantly. Okay, bam, look, I'm faltered. So now I, I, there's no reason for me to even try to do anything. And now I'm in a corner. And then I got a falter again, back-to-back -back falter. And I'm like, what? And so I'm just like, okay, whatever. All right, we fired that off. This is going to be unblockable. I learned why. And look at this. That's some nasty damage right there, right? So I'm like, yeah, we got this. This should be good. Okay. Great. We're doing great. And then there's that falter again. Okay. So here we go. Um, I'm blocking it, but, you know, does some damage. And then he just hit me. I messed up there. Whatever. Okay. I had to do that just to get him off of me. And so now I'm just like, all right. But I'm in the corner, and he's ramping up. Look at the damage he's doing suddenly. And I'm like, whoa, get back, get back, get back, get back, get back. All right, so now we're done. I'm like, yeah. And then the power gain. And I'm like, okay, easy, easy. We don't want to push him to a special three. Okay. And then he gets to fire it again. I'm faltered again. And he got another special one. Okay. But I'm faltered, so I can't do anything. All right, and here we go. And then I'm faltered again. You see how I just keep getting faltered? I'm like, what am I supposed to do? All right, now look at this. He's faltered, all right? So now he's got 3% health. And I'm like, all right, I got him, I got him. I'm gonna get him with my special two. And then that happened. So if you look back, I already know, because I know y'all are gonna say this, um, your, your ouchies took you out. I already knew that would happen. But I was waiting for him to get low in health so that my special would take him out. And I tried to wait out that immortality uh, buff. And I kept waiting and waiting and waiting, and then I panicked. And that is what happened. My special one wasn't quite enough to take him all the way out. And then up here, you know, again, the falter. But I'm like, this is my first life. So I'm good, all right? And then, yeah, I'm missing again with the falter. I'm like, oh, come on, really? All right, so I'm just like, all right, go ahead. There's falter coming again, and he's just getting power. And look at this, then he hit me. Now I'm on my, my, my new life. I'm like, whoa, and then I got him down. I thought I was gonna get taken out again right there, okay? But that is my final fight of this war. A learning experience. If I have to fight him again, I will do better. All right. So uh, we'll be back in a minute and you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back. And unfortunately, we lost this war. We're just doing that seesaw, seesaw thing. This was a tier two war. We lost, but we still got a lot of points. Losing in tier two is good. And I believe 
I remember seeing less points for winning in tier three. Correct me if I'm wrong, all right? But anyway, we just died too much. That, 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 that was just the bottom line, all right? Shout out to our MVPs. Um, but we still got a good number of points, and we got all three bosses down. I'm really hoping that that was an outlier because uh, I have not had that happen since I joined them, but I haven't been with them for that long. It's just this this is my first season with them, all right? So I don't know how often that happens or, or what have you. But that is going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day. Arena and chill grind, that's how we roll. No stress, no drama, just on patrol. In the fight, he swift. His tactics be tight. Those shadows in the arena ready to ignite. From the streets to the screen, his skills be renowned. In the world of Marvel, Lord, the King Crown. Oh.